guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today I am here with part two of my hauls for January and this is going to be everything that is not Zoya. Um, so I have a mixture of indie and mainstreams, so we will start with mainstream. The first one that I have is a lemming crossed off my list. I will be doing an updated lemming list video probably February, March time. I've got it planned, but I've got a lot of videos in the meantime to do. And I'm gonna show you what lemmings I've crossed off my list and swatches, um, but I've picked up Zoya's Zombie Zest and I think that Holly created the hype around this um, and it's just beautiful. It's like a brown base with a ton of olive glitter in there. It's an ugly pretty color that she's gone through two or three bottles of, so therefore I must have it I'm hoping it's going to be beautiful because it looks beautiful in the bottle. So China Glaze Zombie Zest. I should say that some of these what I got in D stashes and other ones I got get sent for Christmas. So it's a real bundle of where I got these polishes from. I then have two OPI from the Washington DC collection. I have a feeling that we're going to be starting to see this collection pop up more in like TK Maxx and discount places and I'm going to pick up a lot more. This first one that I have is called Madame President and it's a bright like a raspberry but more of a red toned raspberry than a pink toned raspberry and the other one is CIA colour is awesome which is this beautiful deep like blue turquoise grey um, my colour descriptions are on point today so those are the two that I've got for now but I definitely will be on the hunt for some more of those before we start the indies, and of course all indie sellers will be linked down below, I also got for Christmas a She Nail Glass Nail File. Um, Holly has worked with this brand for a little while now and I've never actually used a glass nail file. Always been a little bit scared to use one so this is going to be my time. Um, and I got the one in the leopard print. The rest is all indies. Um, some other ones that I got as Christmas gifts. I got something from Sarah at Polish Me Royalty. For Christmas she gifted me two new exclusive um, polishes. The first one is called Pure Morning and this is a white base with a ton. Can you pick that up? Oh look at that. It looks like snow. I'm so excited to wear this. I love wearing like really white base pastels in the like, wintry frosty if we ever get any snow, snow time. I just think they look gorgeous. And the other one is called Dainty, and this is a light um, lilac. And then look at that, look at the shimmer. Oh, I'm so excited to use these, so excited. I then have the next lots are all from brands that I've never tried before. So the first one is from Lacquer Lust, and I don't know if every polish Lacquer Lust does is got a unicorn themed name, or if it's just, this is a separate unicorn themed collection but this one is called I've Been A Good Unicorn and it's for Christmas um, and it's like a cousin of Twinkle Lights by um, Now In Zero Lacquer where it's a holographic base with some um, sheer green and red glitters in there. These glitters are a lot smaller than the ones in Twinkle Lights but once I've worn both I will let you know what I think. I then have my first ever one from Cirque and can you guess what colour this is? the much hyped Halcyon um, and everybody kind of went crazy over this, they re-promoted it this year so I'm hoping everyone that wanted it has it. It's beautiful, it's a lovely rose gold foil finish and also look how shiny that is. This might be one of the next ones that I wear because I am so excited to wear this, I just don't know, I just feel like it's so hyped though, I hope I don't get let down by it but that one was Halcyon by Cirque. Then I have four from Glitter Days, and this is another brand that I've never tried before, but I know a lot of people that have worked with them and have worn their polishes. I actually have four in four different finishes, so I feel that's a really good way to get a good like variety from the brand. The first one is called Grunge, and it is a deep um, purple cream. Look at how cute the Glitter Days bottles are. Isn't that so cute? So that one, first one there is called Grunge. We then have a strong holographic in Make a Wish, which is obviously lilac. We have a multi-chrome which is called Spaced Out, and this is mainly blue, but obviously multi-chromes into a variety of different colours. And we have Moonlit Mermaid, which I love when two like trends collide, and this is flakies and multi-chrome in a bottle. So it's in a multi-chrome base, and then there is a ton of flakies in there too, and I'm not I'm sure the flakies may be multi-chrome too. And then the last four are from two brands that I am very familiar with. And the first one here is Dollish Polish. This came out in the Fandom Collection Part 2 and it's on Wednesdays We Wear Black. I want to say that's the one from American Horror Story but I'm not 100%. Um, and this is in a clear base I think. And then there's opalescent glitter in there and black glitter in there. Mainly all quite small and micro so this probably 
will look quite nice maybe over a grey. Maybe I can wear that over one of the Zoyas that I just picked up. Maybe Zoyas Kelly. Maybe the two of those would look nice together. I then have three KB Shimmers. They're all Crelly mixes. I'm so excited. The first one is called I Wet My Plants. And this is from quite a new collection, I think. And this is a light, turqu light turquoise. What am I talking about? A light purple base. And then it's actually got quite a lot of smaller glitter in for a Crelly mix from KB Shimmer. And they're mainly, or as you can see, quite metallic. And it's purples and pinks and silvers. And that one is called I Wet My Plants. These two will then clearly depict that the glitters normally in their Crelly mixes are larger. This one is called Don't Play Koi. And this is a beautiful, stunning white base Crelly with quite large um, coral pink. Um, light blue and there's also some grey but the grey doesn't seem to be as much as the other two colours so excited I love their white crelly bases so that one is don't play coy the last one in this haul is smoke signal which is a grey base with kind of like a burnt orange and then a light blue glitter in there and this one seems like the glitter is a lot more dense than in don't play coy it seems that it's just everywhere and anywhere and this is a variety of sizes from kind of medium down to micro so that one is called smoke signal so that was everything which wasn't Zoya that I picked up and got for Christmas and that I got in January so give me a thumbs up and subscribe and let me know if you've tried any of the ones that I've got here today um, I'm, I'm trying to film a ton more videos I also have sitting right in front of me the breakfast at Tiffany's collection so I'm hopefully gonna get a swatch and review out for you in January but there's 18 polishes, this could take a while. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.